I'm gonna show you how to properly mix watercolors um, in a watercolor palette without kind of ruining the watercolors themselves. So you're gonna have your watercolor palette, a sponge, water container, and also your color wheel handout. So what you do so you don't like completely muddy up your watercolors is I'm gonna take my watercolor brush, which typically has a um, softer bristles than other kind of paint brushes. I'm gonna first dip it in some clean water. So first off, if your water is like super, super dark, um, you're gonna to wanna to rinse it out and get some new water because if this is like, has tons of watercolor pigment in it, it's going to then mix with the watercolors in your palette and make them brown and muddy and gross. Um, so I'm first gonna take some clean water and if I'm gonna paint yellow, cause that's the top one on your color wheel, I'm gonna grab the regular yellow and get some pigment on my brush. You can kinda see that. And then I'm going to just paint it down on my water, um, sorry, my color wheel. So you see that I am not using like a ton of water on this because since this is just practice, it is just regular printer paper. So if you load it up with a ton of water, it's gonna rip or get really gross. I do have watercolor paper. So when we actually do like full watercolor paintings, we'll use that. Um, but it's pretty expensive, so for this we're just using printer paper. Okay, so now the next one um, is called yellow orange. So that means that I'm actually gonna have to mix two different colors together. So absolutely, please, please, please never mix the two colors together in your palette. So I'm not gonna like take yellow and then mix it in with the orange right here, because that is absolutely gonna ruin it. I'm gonna have to probably throw it away. I've done that before. Um, obviously I have my own watercolors at home, so you're um, ultimately ruining your own materials that you use. So please, please, please never mix your colors directly into the pigment itself. Um, you're actually going to mix it into the lid. So watercolor palettes always have this lovely kind of like built in mixing tray. Um, so that's what you're gonna use. So to, in order to do that, I'm gonna make sure I have a clean brush. So always when you're dipping into your palette, your pigments, you're always gonna have a clean brush um, and you don't want a ton of water. So I'm gonna like dab it off on my sponge a little bit. I'm going to pick up some yellow pigment. You don't need a lot and I'm just going to kind of dab it down into one of the uh, mixing trays that you see right here. Um, I'm gonna get as much pigment off the brush as I can. And again, you don't need much. So you can see there's only like a tiny bit of yellow in there. Then again, I'm going to mix my brush. I'm gonna get some of the water off. And then I'm gonna pick up the orange and I'm going to mix it with my yellow. Um, but because yellow is lighter and orange is darker, oftentimes the orange kind of dominates it. So I need to actually add a little bit more yellow into this because to me, it just straight up looks orange. Okay, so that's better. So now I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water to this. And I actually added a little too much yellow. So I'm gonna grab a little more orange, but just a tiny bit. All right, that's perfect. Okay, so now I am going to lay this down here. And so if you put a color down, you're like, oops, this is not quite exactly how I wanted it. Um, watercolor is great because you can always kind of like add to it before it dries. So while this paper is still wet, I'm going to remix a little bit more orange in with my yellow orange. Because the original color I mixed was still a little too yellow. And since the paper is still a little wet, 
I can actually just kind of like blend this color in really nicely. And I actually want to make it a teensy bit more orange. So I'm going to go over it with one more pass of a little bit of orange. So when you're mixing your yellow colors, so yellow orange and yellow green, those are probably going to be the most challenging because yellow is the lightest. So this is pretty good. You can see that it's definitely more orange. So my regular yellow, I have my yellow orange, and then I'm going to keep going around the color wheel like that. Please um, kind of fill in the whole section because you're not only practicing how to mix colors um, and creating a color wheel reference for yourself, but you're also kind of practicing with watercolor. Um, so I want you to be as precise as you can so you get a good experience with the material.